your main something. goal with shooting all of this? I wanted to create awareness that there's a lot more people here and and I want to create awareness that there are people that are sacrificing themselves, yeah, for for the betterment of the community. Yeah, there are people out there that does like for show, but there are people that lives with people. Like, like I'll give you an example. In Kazon, health work, Barangay health workers, they go up in these jungles, and they check people's health. Right? They hike. And you know how much they they get paid? 500 pesos. My Spotify premium is more expensive than that. <laughs> right? My Netflix is more. These dudes, they walk every day. They check people's um, status and health. And they hiked with us delivering, um, what's that called? Uh, water filters to the communities. And I'm like, what am I doing in my life, man? I'm paying. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Spotify Premium or whatever. But the thing is that there are people yeah. that are really living, like for the betterment of their community. And these are real heroes that are they don't have any exposure. And I'm like, I want to make a YouTube channel, or at least my Instagram, give them recognition. Do you have a YouTube channel already? Um, I rebranded my YouTube channel. Um, so just my name, Jasper Ivani Turiaga. Yeah. So it's uh, you uploading videos already? Yeah. First video, my first blog, and then I'll be. What's your YouTube channel? Jasper Ivan Itriaga. That's my my last name. I T U R R I A G A. So going back to my question, but before we took a break, right? How do you make sure you're building all these schools, all these big mm. efforts, etc.? And then how do you make sure in the one day the mountain, the government might stop, the army might stop your operations, mm. or uh, NPA might go in and, and 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 infiltrate your location? How do you make sure you're safe? Well, number one, you just have to pray that won't happen. Okay. <laughs> because again, you're living in the mountains and there's a big possibility that rebels will come. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's a given. Have you're you in the encountered mountains. rebels? No. So Not far, yet. no. Yeah. Daniel would tell me there are situations where he encountered them. Um, but never, never really like life-threatening. We hear people saying, oh, we, we, we see these people walking around. But during these times, there's like none. So to, to make sure, but, like number, again, like, it's difficult to be infiltrated because our schools are ALS. ALS is, um, what is it called? Um, alternative learning system. Mm -hmm. So I don't think, and, and it's a church run ministry. So I don't think we'll have any NPAs coming to infiltrate our education. But yeah, if, if you're asking if there's any chance that people would come and do rebel stuff, I mean, I don't know. But so far it hasn't happened in the past nine years. And I hope it won't. Yeah, oh, man, that would be a disaster. <laughs> so, what do you teach in your schools, bro? What are the what's the normal curriculum? So we we uh, teach it's church run. We teach the Bible, uh, but but mostly we, we teach them how to read. It's an alternative learning system accredited. So so we teach them literacy, and then from there they can proceed to high school, and then by God's grace, hopefully they can proceed to college, and they become teachers and they go back to their own uh, people. Wow. Yeah. So our also our goal, if we have enough money, our goal is to have um, uh, practical schools uh, like like how to fix motorbikes or carpentry or you know construction yeah, that they can really have practical stuff for the parents too. It's really interesting, bro. I hope one day that will really happen. I hope all of these projects you're doing will really bear fruit. Oh man, I'm I'm praying that's that's the goal. I, I wanted to be able to really like show people how powerful social media is, our influence. So your social media today is funding this whole project. Yeah, one hundred percent funded by social media. Instagram. Instagram. There's probably a one percent that from Facebook, but it's all Instagram, based on Instagram stories. Incredible. Yeah, incredible. What's your whole big picture goal here, bro? After five years, what do you want to have? What projects do you want to accomplish? Yeah, my my whole goal really is by God's grace, that these kids would graduate. And hopefully some of them become pilots. Some of them become teachers. Some of them become nurses and doctors. And if that's the only price I'll get from this, I'll be happy, bro. Uh, I wanted to be able to see kids not get married at the age of 10. What do you mean? Because some of these kids get married at the age of 10 and it hurts my heart, you know? Like, well, but, but wait, this is normal <laughs> for them to get... Dude, it's normal. Who do they marry 10 and 10? Some some are older. They're like arranged marriage. Yeah. Some some I would say some are arranged marriages. Like how? What are the what's the age difference of, of marriage over there? Uh maybe some of them will be sixteen, some will be fourteen. Um I've marrying heard, a ten year old? Yeah. You've yeah. seen this with your own eyes? Yeah. How do you feel about that? It it hurts, man. I when I see a sixteen year old get married, it's just like it 
it pains you? What do you mean you see it? You see the actual ceremony? I know some of these kids. Like what do you I, mean? So there's a kid from remember the pilot guy? Okay. So she ha- um, they have um, someone that they take care of to help them and and in turn they give them money, right? Okay. To help the chores and all that kind of stuff. And she's getting married. How old is she? She's only 16. Getting married to to another dude. I don't know how old is the dude. 18 or something. I'm not sure. But they, they're so young, and they're like it's almost like it's they're forced. What are their marriage like? Is there a certain ceremony? What kind of ceremony? I've I've never been to a Palawan mar- uh, ceremony, but they said it's in the middle of the night. Okay. And they celebrate and they dance and I don't know. I I, I, I need to. You should document. To, yeah, I, I, that that would, that's my plan. But man, to to really see kids getting married that age, it, it's it's hard, disheartening. Really, but sad. ten-year-old kids get married, yeah, and they're sexually active already. I am not sure about that, but I'm sure. I mean, if you get married with someone, I'm sure there's something there. Wow. Yeah, and so that's the whole idea. How do you stop that? You can't stop that by giving food. You can't stop that by giving. Oh, here's a book. Read this. No, you need to be able to have someone to stay there and teach these kids. And I'm education. yeah, and education. And I'm happy that there are two uh, teachers who's willing to do that. So now, right now, oh, there's only two teachers in the school. Yeah, only two. It's a small community. Maybe okay. maybe maximum 50 kids. So you're building this jungle school in Palawan. How, how much percent are you done? Um, so I just started last month. Okay. So um, we're still uh, groundbreaking. Uh, they're still cutting off grass. And one thing that makes it a little bit slower is because of um, materials. Where do you get the materials? So out of the mountains. So... They get you bamboo, know, wood, yeah, yeah wood, stuff, yeah, for, from the forest, and then the helicopter drops cement. Yeah. So you're again going back to the chopper. This this chopper is like a World War something chopper, really old <laughs> chopper. How do you know you're not gonna malfunction? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we we pray that that every my friends from Instagram always text me, you know, be careful, Kobe died, you know, <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, man, stop. Um, what about Daniel? Is he scared? No, Daniel. So Daniel's a flight instructor. Okay. And he's in has, America. Yeah, he's like um, I don't know, two thousand hours or. He's a flight instructor, flight mechanic, and a paramedic, right? Yeah. Okay. So so everything. Yeah, and and when we fly, it's just casual for him. The dude is crazy sometimes because he talks about plane crashes and helicopter he's, crashes. He's been into crashes before. No, he has been to partial engine failure. That's what he said. Okay, and what happens? But then? he never he never told me about. Uh, he never mentioned about any crashes wow dude invite everybody to follow your instagram page yeah please <laughs> say so, yeah, if, if, if you have instagram please po- follow me pstr jasper that's pstr jasper amazing so, yeah man. please and his pictures are amazing the, the quality of photos five photos national geographic and the missions you do bro i've been showing i showed your stuff to erwan a while ago oh yeah uh and and to all my friends you know i, I tell them about you and I wish you continued that vocacy, bro.